Some Gen X show and tell next on Retro Serial. Hey everyone, I'm Ian C. You're watching Retro Serial. On today's episode, what I want to do is I want to look at some of the gifts that I got for Christmas and show you some of the memorabilia from the Gen X era or things that reflect uh, that era. Um, but before I get into that, what I would like you to do is go ahead and take our relationship to the next level by pushing that subscribe button and pushing that like button. And if you want to know when these things are available, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single episode. Also, what you can do to help us out here is share on your favorite social media. And, and if you want to go that step further and uh, help me grow this YouTube mogul empire and podcast, please go ahead and support us on Patreon where you'll find two levels of support, the Cornflake Club and the Honeycomb Hideout. And the Cornflake Club is just a $3 a month tip jar just saying, hey, you're doing a great job. But the Honeycomb Hideout, you actually get most all videos and all podcasts at least one day in advance. And so with all that said, let's go ahead and get to our video. So, you know, Christmas is a big deal in our house, the celebration of our Lord and everything. And and uh, and so we do a lot at Christmas time. And so we always ask each other, what do you want for Christmas? And this year I said, hey, the biggest things that I want for Christmas are some memorabilia so that I can kind of deck out my room here and make it more impressive. I mean, what I have here is pretty cool already, but I kind of want to expand and make it just, you know, more tchotchkes from that era. So I got a few things that I'm super excited about. I'm super excited to share you, share with you uh, what I got. So this is just gonna be a basic kind of show and tell. Now I'm not speaking as an expert. So when I bring on some of the stuff in, I think it's this, that. I didn't look any of, I didn't look look it up, okay? So I, I'm just showing you what I got and talking about it a little bit. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started. One thing that I got and that you'll be seeing somewhere here when I get things more arranged, and this will be the third emanation of the studio. I don't know if you remember the first emanation of the studio. I was next to a glass wall and I had uh, a picture up, but that picture would come down and stuff like that. So this is the second emanation and there's going to be a soon third emanation here because one of the things I got is I got a bookshelf for right here and a bookshelf for right here, which you can't see, uh, but uh, there'll be I don't know, stuff on it so that you, you know, stuff concerning the show that'll accommodate more of the stuff that I got. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you is this freaking awesome cool helmet that I got. It's a Rebel helmet. Um, you know, it's the one that the, the Rebels wear when they're flying their TIE fighters, I guess, is the right word that I'm looking for. So it's the Luke Skywalker one, and I'm gonna put this on so you can see how absolutely awesome this is look at that isn't that cool i could be flying a tie fighter right now right i mean cool right you could be flying a tie fighter right now you wouldn't know the difference if i was saying to you right now that i'm coming at you from the cockpit of a tie fighter you would totally believe me i'm sure because this helmet is the real thing is genuine i mean that's a replica but you know what i mean it looks real so it's not imaginary so it's real right okay cool and we got this little thing you can talk into and everything right you can pretend you're luke skywalker and use the force luke took some pictures of this and put it up on my instagram and my twitter follow me there at at, at retro retro underscore serial enough for that so cool right oh my gosh my quaff is just unbearable here all right okay so that was cool so here we're on to the second thing that i got i got this killer TIE Fighter here as well and this is and uh, it's the second generation of toys as I recall like I said I'm not speaking as an expert but it's a second generation of toys and it is uh, when they started to redo the toys again in the 90s uh, the early 90s had a reboot of these toys and it is the one of the original TIE Fighters. I'm not going to open it up. You'll see it here. Uh, you'll see it opened up 
You'll see it opened up back here. I'd have to cut into it and I didn't bring my cutting tools. I have not actually opened this up yet. So we'll wait on the opening up of it. All right, and then the third thing I've got, now if you've noticed, uh, my walls have been kind of bare and I had some old posters, but they were really, really old and they didn't look so good. And so when I moved my studio from this direction, where it's against this glass wall to back here, I haven't put anything up. So what I asked for was stuff to put up and look what I got. I got some killer um, uh, memorabilia, uh, movie and music memorabilia that I'm going to choose a few of these because there's actually a number of them. I'll just take this one out here and show you that, um, that I'm going to put up. So there's like Back to the Future. I'm definitely going to put that one up. And then I had another package that I didn't get it's somewhere here. But unfortunately, that's going to be one of them that I, I put up. And the other one I can't, unfortunately, can't show you. Uh, but it was a picture like this of the Ramones. And that is definitely going to go up. So there's the Back to the Future. There's Jurassic Park. Uh, there are just a number of these cool things. There's Bruce Lee one. Look at that. That's definitely going up on the wall. So you can see it. Here's one that says the Titanic on it. And there's a number of them in there. On the back, there's uh, Rita Hayworth on that. So there's a ton of them, so I can't hang them all up, but I'll choose certain ones that I think appeal to Jet X most and appeal to me most, and hopefully you by extension. All right, and now here's the next thing I want to show you. I got this really cool trivia game of 80s and 90s pop culture, 80s and 90s pop culture. And what I'm going to do one of these days is um, I might have a playthrough. Uh, I, as you many of you know, I had another channel in which I played uh, games and reviewed games. Um, but I might actually do a playthrough on this one. But I'll tell you what the very least what I'll do is one of these Monday nights on the live stream, I'll we'll do some trivia. You know, I'll just read it out and wait for you guys to... I can't do the cool thing that Dave does where, uh, you know, he has the... the, the the screen where it's lighted up. I just don't have that technology yet. And then I think you have to pay something extra on StreamYard to be able to do that. And I don't have that kind of cash yet, nor that kind of expertise. But what I can do is I can read the cards to you and then you can answer in the, um, in the comment section. So that was super cool as well. And then along with that, I got a Friends trivia set to Trivial Pursuit for Friends. So definitely be playing that. Now, if you're hearing people talking in the background, just ignore it. There's something, there's a lot of stuff going on in my house right now, and I don't have the house all to myself as I normally do. All right, and then the next thing that I got is this, that seven. This is my, one of my favorite shows from the 90s is that 70s show. That's right, except for the final season, which, you know, we all didn't like. But here it is, that 70s show. I also have this um, box set of Friends that you might have noticed floating around in the back from time to time. So, dropped over here. All right, and so you'll see that back there too, because that 70s show is a really popular show from the 90s about the 70s. So it's like a double impact of Generation X culture. Okay, and then the other thing I wanted to show you was, again, remember this reboot that we got from uh, the Star Wars? This is part of the power of the Force. I got a Luke Skywalker Star Wars um, Bespin, or is it Bespin Luke? Um, Skywalker and uh, really cool, really cool. I remember when these were reissued when they came out. I mean, I was, I was really excited and I we didn't really pick up on it, but I got this one here at So Cool. You'll definitely see that back here. Now, the final thing that I want to show you, I actually got it. I actually got this for someone else, but it's in my house, so it won't be back here. But it's but I wanted to show it to you because it's so cool. So. Uh, I, I don't personally own it, but it is in the house here. Um, and that is this original. This is an original 
nearly complete X-Wing fighter from the 1978 series or 79 series. I mean, this is, this is the first one that came out and it's actually fully functional. It's got the, where it can do the X and then you push that down and it does that. The only thing that's missing on this is one of the um, guns, but uh, that's ordered. So that'll be here too. Now, the other thing about this is I haven't tried the batteries on this yet, but we op I'm gonna see if I can open it up. It seems like the batteries would, uh, would work because, oh, criminy. When I, oh, look, and it's got this thing on it. That's really an expensive part too. That part right here and the landing gear and the landing gear. Um, where is it? How does that open up? Excuse me while I try to open this up. Things you don't think about. Well, anyway, we opened that part up where the batteries go and it's clean. What a lot, of, what happened with a lot of these is people would just leave batteries in them, you know, they'd been then, you know, leave it on their shelf and then it would corrode in there. Um, but on this one, the batteries were, were the, it, they, there was no corrosion, there was no rust in there. So we're assuming this actually works as well. So cool. Well, um, what was your favorite part of the collection that I got? What are you most excited about? Uh, that I got from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh, this has just been a show and tell. I wanted to show you some of the stuff and talk about what we're gonna be doing here in the studio. So I would say mission accomplished. And if you like that, then I do think we're ready to take our relationship to the next level and go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the bell notification. Support us on Patreon, and until we meet again, Stay retro, everyone.